Hey there, story lovers. Welcome to chapter one of our tale, where the sun dips low on the horizon, casting a golden hue over the coastal town of Amori. It's the festival of echoes, and the air is thick with anticipation. Colorful lanterns sway gently in the salty breeze, their vibrant reds and blues a stark contrast to the somber expressions of the townsfolk. Aiko, with her long, flowing black hair and bright blue eyes, stands at the edge of the bustling marketplace, her heart heavy with the weight of unspoken stories. She clutches her cozy scarf tightly around her neck, feeling the chill of the evening air seep into her bones. Oh, but here's where it gets really juicy. Stay tuned as we dive into the heart of this festival and uncover the mysteries that lie beneath the surface. Now, this reminds me of those moments when the air is filled with laughter and music, yet there's an undercurrent of unease. Beside Aiko, Mika fidgets nervously, her curly hair adorned with colorful clips bouncing as she shifts from foot to foot. What if no one wants to celebrate? Mika's voice trembles, a whisper lost amidst the laughter and music that fills the air. Aiko kneels beside her friend, her warm smile a beacon of comfort. It's okay, Mika. Sometimes, people celebrate to remember, even if it hurts. We're here together, and that's what matters. As the festival begins, the townsfolk move about, their laughter echoing like distant waves crashing against the shore. Yet, Aiko notices the way their eyes dart away from one another, how conversations fall silent when the past is mentioned. A sense of unease settles over the festival, a tension that hangs in the air like the thick fog rolling in from the sea. The children wander through the stalls, their curiosity piqued by the vibrant decorations and the sweet aroma of festival treats. Aiko leads the way, her nurturing nature guiding Mika and Ren, who wears a skeptical expression, arms crossed defensively. Why do they even celebrate this? Ren mutters, glancing at the townsfolk with a mixture of disdain and curiosity. Aiko turns to Ren, her eyes softening. Maybe they're trying to heal. Sometimes, facing the past is the hardest part. As they explore, the trio stumbles upon a quaint shop tucked away between two larger buildings. The sign above the door reads, Keeper of Memories, and the window displays an array of snow globes, each one shimmering with a different scene. Aiko feels a pull towards the shop, an inexplicable urge to uncover its secrets. Let's go inside, she exclaims, her excitement bubbling over. Mika's eyes sparkle with wonder, while Rin hesitates, a frown creasing his brow. What's so special about some old globes? But Aiko, undeterred, pushes the door open, the bell above it chiming softly, as if welcoming them into a world of forgotten tales. Inside, the air is thick with the scent of aged wood and something sweet, almost like nostalgia itself. The walls are lined with shelves, each snow globe a tiny universe, encapsulating moments frozen in time. As the children gaze in awe, Whispers float through the air, tales of the festival's dark history echoing in the corners of their minds. Aiko feels a shiver run down her spine, a hint of something ominous lurking beneath the surface of the celebration. Yet, the allure of the snow globes is undeniable, and with a shared glance of determination, the children step further into the shop, ready to uncover the mysteries that await them. And there you have it, folks. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join us next time on Storyteller for more adventures.